YouTube. I got from HSN Craft Day. I got one of the Diamond Press sets. I also got the Year of Craft, but it's a Christmas gift, so we'll be reviewing that in December and going through that. But I got, I forgot what this is called now. Happy Meal. Happy Meal Hidden Message Kit. Um, I had gotten the other Hidden Message Kit. They had the prior one, but I haven't reviewed that yet. So here are the dies that you get. And I believe this is Hello, Sending, Love, and Happy Meal, I believe. And then this one is like the mechanism part. It makes this really cool envelope, and we're, I'm gonna show you how to do that in a second. Um, and this is you, I believe, and then you got the hearts. Um, and then you also got the stamps. I did get on auto ship for this one. Um, and one thing I like about HSN auto ship is that um, you can pause um, and not get certain ones. And since my money is so tight, I did that with this set and then the other hidden message set that they had, just because I money is really tight for me. And as much as I would love to get all of them, it's just not in the realm of possibility. So that's one thing I like about HSN Auto Ship is you can pause, and if I change my mind to come rich, rich uncle dies or something, and I want to get the rest of the auto ships, I can. Also comes with a folder, and they also gave you the pop dots. Now, the thing I also love, love about Diamond Press, and everybody's getting on this boat, is you do get the instructions. So, we got this piece of instruction, which we're going to go through in a second, and then it's continued. And then usually, yeah, on the back. So, it's going to do this really cool envelope that pops up, which I think is awesome. So, yeah, you get sending you happy mail and love, and then this shows what you can do with the other dies. So, we're going to get started. Now, they said... In step one, cut an A2 size four by in a fourth by five and a half. I wanted to make a little bit bigger card um, just for fun. So this is a five by seven on craft card. Um, and then I did five by seven, so I did six and three fourths, six and three fourths by four and three fourths. And then I did four and a half by six and a half for the layer. And this is that bow bunny paper that I am constantly using. And then this is just like a four and a half, I think, just for this inside. I just wanted to make sure I had enough to layer everything. I've been really trying to do the inside. I also wanted to do more fall. I'm currently working on my Christmas cards, but if I can get some time, I want to do some fall cards and send them out too. So I've got my marquee. I have my well-loved plate, which I don't know if I'm going to use this or not, but we'll see. So then it says, cut the following pieces to assemble the hidden messenger. So we need a base, we need the pulley flap, and the enforcement, and the pulley tap guide. And I don't think the guide is seen. Yeah, the guide isn't seen. So I have a bunch of the orange paper left over, and I think I'm going to use that. And then I also have this paper, if it'll work, for the one piece. So we need to cut out this one. Yeah, we need to cut out this one. And I was thinking if this is enough, yes, it is enough paper. So we're gonna cut this out. I'm gonna find my scissors. Cut this out. And I don't know how any of this goes right now, so this is gonna be like a over. This just fits in the marquee. Watch things um, moving around. That's like the biggest thing with uh, warped plates is things tend to move around a lot and they also don't tend to cut as well. So we'll see if this cuts good. If it doesn't, I'm going to have to get a new plate. So I'm just going to put this through. Gonna cut one of these. That cut pretty good. I love this machine. It's awesome. Awesome sauce. And then we need the pull thing, the pull tab, the reinforcement, and I don't know what they call this piece. I don't think it's important. And I'm going to do it out of the orange paper. Um, and that's one of the reasons why I did the orange paper in the back. So I always try to stick to like three main colors 
when I am crafting. Um, and that just helps um, keep things looking more cohesive and um, not getting too crazy. So if you can stick with three main colors and work off of those, your cards are gonna tend to turn out a little bit better. So I try to do that with layering. I think cards just look so good layered and it took me a long time to learn how to layer appropriately. Um, I tried buying dyes, I tried doing all kinds of stuff and in the end, it just takes some practice. So this always, that's why I love this machine, cuts amazing. So I got these two pieces, put them to the side and then I need the reinforcements. And they only say one of each, so there's no extra stuff that we're doing right now. So that's cool. That's another thing I like about Diamond Press is a lot of times you can use just the scraps that you have. So my scrap bin right now is insane, and um, I need to reorganize it. When I moved into this house, I got rid of a lot of scraps. I know a lot of you are probably gasping about that, but I wasn't using them. Um, and I just had really like an excessive amount and so I got rid of a lot of scraps when I moved into this house and then I was throwing stuff in a drawer so I need to get better at that so we got these three pieces so what's the next step we're gonna get our glue out it looks like next step So this Barely Art Glitter Glue, I've been using it all of 2020, and I am liking it so far. I actually had to get free shipping on Amazon, and so I bought some more of it. And they gave you new, um, new um, tips too, so that was cool, because the one tip I broke, I wasn't doing things appropriately. So they want you to take, I don't know why this, this is not so they just want you to reinforce them. So you're going to put this on top of this, basically. So we're going to use our glue. Maybe. Possibly. I do like this glue, but it sometimes is a pain in the butt to get out. And I've been more um, cognizant of, they said, take out the tip, rinse it in water, you know, all that kind of stuff. And I've been doing that. Um, but I'm still noticing some issues. Okay. Alright, so we're going to just put some glue on here. It took me a minute to get that unclogged. I'm just going to take this piece and fit it um, right like so. There's um. A score line right here and you just kind of you don't want to cover the score line you just want to butt it up to the score line if that makes sense okay so then we got that piece one second okay so then the next step I'm gonna take this piece and this piece I'm gonna do the back side I thinking and we're going to glue this on here. Now you just want to put the glue just here and here because um, this is going to need mo room to move if I'm going to guess. This is literally the first time I have ever put this together. So Alright, so we just got glue on the two sides like that, and then we're going to glue it down on this piece here. And I don't want it to show, so make sure that it's like that, so it's not showing. That looks pretty good. Okay, and the next step, which I think I screwed this up. Yep, screwed this up. It's not dry yet, so we can fix it. You want to put this on the outside, apparently. Where is... Uh, look at the directions, because I'm a little confused. No, you wouldn't want to put that... I 
think I did this wrong. Cut it out wrong. Um, was like this. And like this. I think I had it right the first time. We're going to go. We'll go with the first time and then. I'm going to get glue out of here. I don't know why this isn't working. So we're going to put this on here. I'm a little confused, but we'll see. Make sure it's not showing. Okay. Over a little bit, not much. Okay. That's good. Then, I'm going to do it like this. Oh, I was supposed to fold these over. But wait a second. So you're going to fold these guys over. Then you're going to slide this through just like this. So those things are up like this. And this piece is going to go through here. And then it's going to go through this one here. Okay, so you got like a mechanism that looks like that. Okay, and this is going to be the pull part. Things. They don't say to glue them down. Oh, these got to go on the opposite side of the card, it says. These, these guys here. Oh, this has got to feed through the hole. And then these guys have got to go on the opposite side of the card. Okay? So I think that's what's going to... Yeah. Okay. So we got that done. Now we need to do some more cutting. So we got that mechanism part done. We need to cut out the envelope and the envelope prep. So we need this and we need this. But in the directions it says you need to cut out two of these and one of those and one card, which I haven't decided how I'm decorating yet. So I'm going to hold off on the card part at the moment. This fits. Oh, it just fits. I think, I think I'm not going to risk it. I'll just do this on the corner. through the machine. So we need two of these. So we got one. That's the second one.
going to take two sides and pay attention to how these are cut out. So this is the back side. This is the front side. And it's the way the paper has been rounded. Okay. Um, and then we're going to take... this piece and they want you to glue one here or one here and one here okay so that's what we're gonna do I'm just gonna put some glue on this part here okay make sure you're not getting it everywhere make sure you're doing the right side and you also want it semi-even I'm just looking on the back to make sure it's the way I want it. And then on this side, it has a, a score line, so you want to make sure that's scored. Um, and then you want to put glue back here. Just make your little flap. If I'm reading the directions right, it's the first time I've ever done it, so we'll see. Um, I think I'm going to make a couple of these for my nieces and nephews. They're older now, and so I primarily just give them money for Christmas. And so I think I'm going to do some of these in, like, really Christmassy fun stuff for them. So I can tuck the money inside. I think that would be a really cool idea. Alright, then we're on to the next step. We're going to... We're basically going to make, so this is a half envelope, and it's scored really nicely, and we're going to glue this together. So I'm going to put some glue down here, and on this one down here, and then you're just going to fold this up. Hold it for a minute, just so it uh, dries. Okay. And that's what I mean, like this is a cute little envelope, so I'm thinking I'm gonna do that for my Christmas money. Okay, like a fun. And then all we're gonna do is attach this pretty close, I think, to there. And we're gonna add glue on the back. Like so, and you wanna make sure that it's, you know, these edges here are matching up, okay? And then, hopefully, we have success. And then it's going to pop, but it's not... See, these little guys got tucked in wrong. They're supposed to be on the other side of this. I don't know if I'm supposed to put glue on those or what. I don't think so. I think they're supposed to act as like a stopper mechanism for it. So you've got this little thing going on and then you're going to pull this and it's supposed to pop up. So I'm going to go back to that step and see where I have um, messed up. Oh, unfold them. That's where I got screwed up. So these are going to fold down, and then you're going to put these through, and then you're going to unfold them. Okay? So, okay. And we're going to pull down, and it's still not working. Okay. Also, another thing I don't like about it is this part here. So give me a minute. I'll be right back. I'm going to try to figure out why this isn't working. Alright, I think I got it straightened out. So these are supposed to stay out here. So then it's going to be closed like this. And then you just pull it and it opens. Okay, I think that's how we're doing it. Um, still pay attention when you glue it. I don't like the way that looks like that. But it is what it is. Maybe I can uh, pull it. Still not 
not 100% great, and I don't know why, but it's okay. So then, let's start gluing down some stuff. Put some glue on the back of this. Now the reason why I did a 5x7 is because this, if it was on a 4x6, is going to cover up a lot of the back paper and I want to be able to see it. So, yeah. So then they gave us, I can find it in this pile somewhere. They did give us the pop dots. So what you want to do is you're going to want to pop dot this up and then place it there. double checking before I do all this rigmarole. So we are on soup number 10. So let's, oh, they give us two sheets. So there's two sheets. That's kind of nice. So pop dot it. And I am going to just put the pop dots exactly where they say to put it. Okay. Yep. Just gonna hear it soft at the top of your card. Okay, but you know what? I um I want to they have a stamp that says well it's already got sticky on there, so I guess we're doing it. Um, like there. And the reason why you pop dot it is so that the mechanism can move. So I'm going to come back in a little bit and I'm going to decorate it and then I'll show you the final product. All right, so I finished decorating the card. This is what the front looks like. I did some alcohol um, with some Spectrum Noir alcohol pens and then they had the die to cut it out. So that was really cute. And then I put sending. The only thing with the sending is they didn't have the eye part, which is kind of weird. Whatever. And it's still kind of not working that great. I'm going to have to make a couple of these to see, but this pops up. And then the other thing I noticed, because when you go to grab this, you're grabbing the back piece. So it's really kind of hard to get this thing out, but whatever. So I got that, and then I, they have paper hugs. So I did that, and then the inside, I just did this. And I don't even know the measurements. This was a leftover piece of paper. I was like, ah, that works. So I finished it off. And so that is the finished card. So I think this one's a little bit, a little bit, you gotta play with it. I gotta play with it a little bit more to see how it works and that kind of thing. But other than that, I think it's really cute. Um, stamps stamped excellent. Um, dies cut great. So um, there is a pull right there. Um, and I'm going to try to stamp it on there, but you probably should have done that before you glued everything together. Um, if I were to give you some sound advice. So, so that goes like this and then that. All right. So it's working better now. Cool. All right. So that's the finished card. I hope you enjoyed this review and I will see you in the next video.